Hello lettering friends, I'm Sarah from Einstein Insights. In this video, I'll show you 10 ways to letter July, and I'm going to use 20 different small brush pens. I've been asked lately about how these Monami pens compare to pens like Pentel. So I decided for this video, I would pull out most of my small brush pens to compare. And there are a lot. <laughs> this will be a super quick comparison. If you want to see more details, I have two small brush pen review videos that I will link below. And if you want to practice these worksheets with me, I'll leave the details for that in the description box as well. Before I get started, I just want to say I will pronounce some of the pens wrong and I apologize. It's hard to know how to say certain pens when I don't hear other people saying them and Google only can help me so much. So if I do pronounce it wrong and you know the correct <laughs> way to say it, let me know in the comments. The first pen is the Pentel Touch brush pen and this one is often called different things like Pentel Fury Touch brush sign pen, Pentel Touch brush pen, Pentel sign pen with a flexible point. I'm not sure how it got all of these different names. These are some of my favorites. I recommend them to beginners and I use them all the time. Next is Marvi Le Pen Flex. I love these ones. The nib is soft and bouncy. It's really unique for a small brush pen. Next is Tombow Furunosuke. These ones come in a hard tip and a soft tip. The soft tip is most similar to the Pentel Touch. And the hard tip is just a little more firm. The hard tip is the one with the blue pen body and the soft tip has the black pen body. This first one is the soft brush tip and you can't really tell the difference. Now this one is the hard tip. The difference is in how it feels, so I am pushing a lot harder. The hard tip was easier for me as a beginner to get thin upstrokes, but you do have to push harder. Next is another Tombow. This is the one with dual ended. It has black on one side and gray on the other side. And this nib to me feels most similar to the Marve Le Pen Flex. I really, really like this one. It is also nice to have the gray side for doing any shadows. Next is the Kelly Creates small brush pens. These ones are nice. They feel like the Pentel. The quality is not very good. The ink is kind of running out in this one and I honestly haven't used it that much, but my Pentel ink has never run out in the years that I've had them. Next is the Monami Plus Pen 3000 and the Arteza Twi markers. I was saying Twi markers before and somebody said it was Twi markers. These two are very similar. The fine tip. The Arteza does have the larger brush tip side, but for the fine tip, it's very similar to the Monami. I think most of you have seen my Monami review and I love them. They're very, very tiny. So they are not like <laughs> Pentel, like people ask that a lot. They're very different. I don't recommend them to anybody who does not like really, really tiny lettering and a very firm nib. But for me personally, I really like the tiny and I like a firm nib that you have to press really hard. So I personally love them. They come in so many colors. Monami is less expensive than the Arteza, but Arteza does have the dual tip. So you get two brush tips in one pen. And next is the Zebra Funwari and the Zebra Fude. I honestly can't really tell the difference between these two. I don't know what makes them different besides the pen body. The This one, the Funwari, has colors and they're really nice. They're really pretty colors. The nib feels like it's in between hard and soft. It's kind of a nice balance in between. And this one, I got it at Daiso. And they also have different sizes. It feels like it's probably similar to the Tombow hard nib. And next is the Kiritaki Zig Kokoiro letter pen. 
This one comes in different colors. It's really, really tiny. This one, I definitely would compare it to the Monami and the Arteza. I like it, but once again, you won't like it if you don't like the firm tiny. Next is the Kiritaki Bimoji. This one has several different sizes as well. I really like this one. It feels like uh, probably somewhere between a Tombow Fude and Pentel. And next is the Pilot Petite 3 and the Pilot Enso watercolor brush pen. The Petite 3 is really little and so you have to put the cap on in order for it to sit in your hand, to rest it on your hand, otherwise it's too short. And it also comes in fountain pens. The nib of this one is so nice. I really, really like it. It's a really nice bounce. The Pilot Enso is also really good. It's a lot tinier. It's really tiny like the Monami, but probably a little bit softer than the Monami. But it is more pricey and there's less colors. And next is the Sakura Pigma FB, meaning fine brush, and then the Sakura Pigma Micron brush. And these are both waterproof. The Pigma FB is similar to the Tombow and Pentel, and I really like it. I have sometimes done watercolor on top of it, and it is nice that it stays. The Micron brush pen is not my favorite, but if you like a really, really soft, flexible nib, you might like it. And next is this red one. It is Kiritaki and it says number 14 on it. And that is all that I remember about it. And honestly, it's a fine pen. There's nothing special about it. It doesn't really feel that different to me. I just saw it at my local art store and decided to try it. Next is a Sharpie brush pen. This one is relatively new. There are also the huge Sharpie brush pens. This is all I have. I only got a black one. There are other colors, but I decided just to try this one. And it's fine. It's not my favorite, but it is a pretty nice flexible nib. And last is the Kurotaki Furugokochi. I am sure I'm saying that wrong. I am so sorry. They just have a different color of pen body. This white one is really fine and really hard, and I would say it is similar to the Monami, although it is really, really inky. I do have trouble with it splurting out sometimes, and also it takes forever to dry because there is so much ink. But I love it. I love the little tiny nib. And the other one is a little bit larger. It's very soft. It's probably like something that has a really nice bounce. And that's all of the pens. That was a lot. Thank you for sticking around. If you have tried any of these, let me know which ones and if you agree with my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed these lettering styles. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I will see you next time.